class uh, 9 biology we will start about different uh, invertebrate uh, phylum we will start with the porifera then porifera uh, then uh, nigeria platyal menthis uh, uh, nematoda and leader uh, and also we will see about the importance of uh, artworm and actually the structure of artworm so today we will start with the uh, different invertebrate phylum now we will start with the uh, inverted invertebrate phyla that is uh, porifera phylum porifera the pore bearers on uh, the sponges porifera are the simplest multicellular animals and uh, their body consists of hollow tube there is no single mouth but many pores or canals are present uh, if we see the example that cycon mainly bath sponge also that uh, in their body wall through which uh, water entered the body from the water the sponge capture their food a single large opening of the top is exist uh, exit of water the sponges usually have a skeleton or microscopic spicule or elastic sponge in fiber except one or two fresh water sponges all are found in sea uh, example we already told that uh, cycon bug sponge are the example now move on to the another topic and that is uh, called the uh, nidaria or uh, cylindrata that is sac like animals um, uh, example hydra jellyfish sea anemone Uh, in nidarians a two layered body wall encloses a single cavity known as a cylindron in which digestion takes place the cavity opens by mouth at one end only there are tentacles to catch food organism the nidarians are found in water mostly in uh, sea very few in fresh water coral develop hard skeleton made up of uh, calcium carbonate carbonate uh, from their uh, secretion but uh, these are not bones so example if we see that nidarians are with uh, jellyfish sea anemone uh, red color coral these are the different examples now move on to the another topic that is uh, called the um, uh, platyal menthis that is a um, uh, flat worm these are small soft flattened usually unsegmented worm without a body cavity xylem the elementary canal has only one opening the mouth most of the flat worm live on the inside uh, other animals as parasite but few are free living in the sea or fresh water example if you see parasite liver fluke tapeworm free living on planaria uh, so these are the different examples of uh, phylum platyhelminthes now move on to the another topic that is called the nematoda there is a long cylindrical unsegmented um, uh, fluid filled or false body cavity without a true body cavity the elementary canal opens at the two end mouth and anus they are mostly parasitic but some live uh, free in the soil like who who come ascaris in human eel worm in potato plants so these are the different examples of uh, like if you see ascaris uh, are the examples eel worm also the examples of this uh, phylum nematoda now move on to the another um, uh, topic that is phylum annelida it is segmented or ringed worms uh, artworm leeches nerys are the example uh, the body of annelid worm is cylindrical and divided into ring like segment an early worm has a well developed uh, digestive system with the alimentary canal open at both end with the mouth and anus they have a true body cavity the xylem uh, so um, uh, if we see uh, the uh, artworm uh, what actually it help so all artworm lives in burrows in damp soil they make these burrows by eating through the soil the soil is eaten in large quantities and is passed out through the other and end of the body the form uh, casting and that is actually um, the soil contain organic matter in the form of humus and broken bit of leaves are to avoid light they are nocturnal they crawl up the surface of the ground at night for feeding and mating dry soil is unsuited for artworm uh, their skin has to be kept moist for respiration and the common example if we see that feridima postuma has long cylindrical body which is divided into series of um, 8 to um, more or less uh, 38 to 100 ling like segment there is no head and there are no appendages uh, no eyes or no tail the mouth is simple opening and fountain there is no jaws the anus is located at the extreme the hind end in the mature worm uh, short cylindrical band of thick granular skin that is a clitellum surrounds the body like a belt in a segment uh, 14 to 16 which is about one third distance of the body from the fountain uh, this clitellum serves in reproduction lighter colored vent, uh, ventral side bears a few important opening and structure close to the clitellum this is concerned with the reproduction if we see the example in import, economic importance of artworm it is highly useful in agriculture it loosens up the aerates the soil in burrows and also um, uh, the um, uh, makes the grow well and penetrate deeper artworm keeps interchanging the top soil with the lower uh, layer thus increasing the fertility of the soil 
The earth form excrete in rich in endogenous matter which is required for plant growth. Present the earth form are being used in vermiculture for producing high quality manure. Many people use earth form as bait in catching fish. So today up to that, next we will start with another topic.